There's a poll that you guys are going to want to see the results of. I've been on this before, but I did not know that there was actually a section inside of it right here. Look at this. Are you guys ready for the Devil Right area? This is where things get really cool. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and we are back with a significant episode of the Futuristic Military Base. And that is because this is the episode, the overwhelming episode, in which I've had to choose between all of the tiles that have been submitted and then place them in a world and save the world and we are now in that world right around the middle where they said the corruption was gonna be so i'm fortunately when i'm choosing all these tiles i don't get to see whose names are attached to which tile or who made what so i have no idea i i, I just have no way of telling who made which tiles but if you see your tile then you should be proud to have made it into one of the biggest compilation projects on the channel so far even bigger than the suspended mountain base because not only are we going to be using creations but we are using tiles so this is the center of the world this is the corruption piece that i have chosen for the very center the very the, the ground zero of the corruption so this is one of the more difficult episodes for me to make and that is because i have to make decisions that i know some of you aren't gonna like and some of you are gonna like this is where no matter what no matter what decisions i make some people are going to be happy and some people aren't. And that's just something that I'm going to have to deal with. But please just remember that this has been one of the biggest community projects on the channel ever. And I don't know if we're ever even going to be able to com compete with a project like this. Every 95% of the tiles of this world were made by fans of the channel. I just had to figure out what to do with them and where to put them. So what we're going to be doing in this episode is touring the world. I'll be explaining why I chose to put certain tiles in certain places and a little bit more of an exposition of the lore, I guess, as this world has kind of directed it as I've built it. Now, one unfortunate thing, which was really inevitable and unavoidable, is that the world doesn't look perfect. It's not a clean transition between tiles because that would just be impossible for every single person to be able to coordinate their tiles you don't know where i'm going to put tiles you don't know which tiles i'm going to use and which tiles are going to be next to which tiles so it's really like an impossible task to really create a world like this in which everything just seems like a one cohesive uh uniform thing where everything links together so you will see things might seem a little bit blocky like they're definitely like individual tiles and that's just something that we're going to have to ignore for the sake of this awesome project and putting everything together in the way that we have. So I don't even know how to start with this. I guess we're gonna start. So the corruption zone is in the middle. This is ground zero for the corruption zone. Now, I think the best thing to do is I'm just gonna spawn in my uh, FMB flyer. We need a nice reliable craft that I'm very familiar with so that we can focus more on looking at the world and not on trying not to crash. So here we have ground zero of the corruption zone. And now what I've done is I've taken a lot of the different corruption tiles, like cor tiles based off of the black corruption, and I've surrounded this area with them. So of course we just have the biggest one, or at least one of the bigger ones right in the middle here to mark uh, the very source of the corruption. And now we're gonna go around very, 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 gently we're gonna just kind of explore we're gonna radiate outwards towards the other tiles and you can see we have like a corruption hole over here with some more of the uh, branches coming out we got some more kind of corruption i i also surrounded it with forest i kind of had forest concentrated around the corruption so that way there's a little bit more of an obscured visual to this uh area so we got some more corruption here we got some other things like i just it's really hard for me to describe everything that i've done here because there's hundreds i think there's literally hundreds of tiles we even have so this is actually um the the humans addition to this area so of course we have the futuristic military base in one of the corners which man this episode now i'm just i'm thinking about everything i have to show you guys this is an overwhelming episode just to be thinking about but if I remember, please, I hope I remember correctly, it's black down here. Okay, good. So yeah, now this is actually, the humans have tra traveled into the corruption zone and uh, they've installed this little, uh, I guess, extraction area or research area 
where they've contained a small area of the corruption and they're researching it right there. So that was my reasoning on putting this right next to the corruption zone. As far and as far as neutral tiles around the corruption zone, I've put some of the more um, darker ones, like this muddy area over here. We have like a mud trail. Um, and yeah, some of the darker areas are just surrounding the corruption zone, pretty much. We even got like a flower over there on the right, uh, a, a landing pad that has been slightly knocked off center by the pull of the corruption zone is kind of my reasoning there. We have another like kind of dark muddy area over here. And this side is actually getting close. We're closer to the human side right now. And that is why I put this right here because it has like the black corrupted ground, but then it has this um, trail, which I'm figuring is another, another impact of the humans kind of exploring into this zone over here. But you can kind of see now as we're zooming out, there's a bunch of little corruption tiles surrounding that big corruption area. Now let's head over in this direction over here, we have the actual futuristic military base, and we're using the same tile that I said we were going to use at the very, very beginning of the series, but I modified it. I actually put it into the terrain editor and gave it a little bit of a modification. So you can see as we get over here, the tiles get a little bit more normal, a little bit more desert-like. I even incorporated a, a tower that was made by one of you guys that I don't think I actually showed in any of my videos. So we have this little tower in here and actually I've never been inside so let's take a look inside this really quick and see it what is even in here I don't know oh we have like a little is there another way in here oh look at that oh I'm guessing that this was made by Riviction <laughs> based off of that like I literally I have no idea who made some of these tiles but it says Rive and I'm Riviction has been a significant contributor to the channel especially with this series so let's go ahead and uh, head up here and see what might be up at the top. It looks like it's just like a tower like outpost thing. And nice that he added a spiral staircase in here so we can uh, walk our way up without having to build a staircase. And yeah, we got a nice road or not road, but like a just platform for us to be out here. And we can actually probably we can put some turrets up here. We can attach some of your creations. So this is what I mean by um, not everything is going to look completely in place like it was completely designed to be there. We have some of these edges and stuff, which we just can't get away from. Um, see, this one linked good with this one, which is why I put them next to each other. But it would be impossible for me to really find just tiles that were made independently that would just match up with everything. So now I am not going to build anything here until I get to show you guys what is here. And then I want your feedback and let me know if anything should be added because we have a little bit of space for small tiles. See, these areas right here are unfilled. And right now I'm just leaving them open. But over here, you can see that this looks a little bit different than the normal uh, future military base tile, the plateau tile. And the reason is the plateau tile just has three plateaus and there's no way to drive up to them. You actually have to climb or fly up. And I wanted the future military base, if we're going to be having ground vehicles, then we're going to need to be able to get to the base with our ground vehicles. So I actually modified this tile. As you can see, I opened up this end and made a pathway. Hopefully it's not going to be too steep. We should probably spawn in some vehicles and uh, test this. So I opened up this pathway up here. I also got rid of all the trees that were up here just in case they interfered with any of our building plans. And you can see now we have um, more of a, a smaller hole here rather than that huge, just perfectly square and flat hole that we had before. Now this one's a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable, a little bit less deep, and we'll be able to build our base underground in here and I'm planning on filling in the top section of it with a floor layer so we can have our base above ground and then we can have something that goes underneath but yeah I took away all the trees and I didn't really change as far as I know at least I don't think I changed any of the plateaus I removed the trees from this plateau that's just about it the only other thing I changed is I enabled this area to be drivable uh, with some flat ground because before there were like steps like little rock steps So I took away the rocks and I added some uh, I smoothed out some of the terrain so you can actually drive up through here Because I wanted some ax complete access for ground vehicles to this future military base Corner so as you can see this is in the very corner. There's the fence So this is one side of the four different corners 
four different races, human and then three alien races. And uh, this is just, we've been through not even like two fifths of the world yet. Cause we have five different areas, the corruption zone, the Arcturi, the Aneri, the humans, and then the Devorite. Where do you guys see the Devorite? The Devorite is actually one of my favorite sections because stuff that you guys built actually just worked out really, really well. And they like kind of worked with each other very well. So now we have this cool little cave next to the uh, future military base. I figured what I was going to have is um, there's a bunch of different caves you guys made and I scattered them mostly across the map, but I also have some of them near the military base for as like a little outpost not too far away. And I think over here, yeah, we have one of the caves are over here. You can see we can enter in through there. So we have this little cave system. Oh yeah, and I forgot. Remember this quarry that we looked at last time? I put this right next to the military base because uh, the lore behind this is we have actually taken a corruption stone from the middle of the map and we brought it over here and we dug it down into a quarry to study it. But you can see the corruption is actually spreading out of this quarry right now by all of the veins, the little black veins that are coming out. So this is a, a human-made quarry to study the corruption and is right next to the future military base over there. So there's a lot of really cool little things about this world that your tiles have enabled. So hopefully I can explain everything. This might actually be like, it might take a couple episodes for me to actually fully explore everything that's happening. And then next to that, we have um, a little outpost, a little underground cave outpost. We can put whatever we want down there that the humans can use. Uh, let's see. What else do we get? We have so many things. Um, this is starting to get more towards an alien side, obviously. And I noticed that there's a purple ring around this. We looked at this in the last episode, I think. So this is um, on the Aneri side because of the purple ring. And it's right on the outside. This is like the, the furthest thing away from the Aneri base, but still connected to the Aneri side. You can see it gets more purple as we go in. So this is kind of like a mix between human with the barn down here and alien with the Aneri over there. I almost forgot. There's a poll that you guys are gonna wanna see the results of. I mean, you probably already know the results if you were checking it, but I asked you in the last episode, who should be the friendly race and who should be the more neutral, hands-off, but will attack you if you attack us race? The Aneri being purple or the Arcturi being green? And the votes are in and unexpectedly, actually, you guys choose the Arcturi to be the friendly race and the Aneri to be the uh, neutral but hands-off race. So it's a good thing we're not saying that they're the friendly race because otherwise it wouldn't really make sense that they're kind of uh, abducting this barn right here. But I'm not saying this as an attack, so they're still neutral with this abduction going on here. This is just a research abduction, so there's not an attack, it's just we need this for research purposes and we're just gonna take this barn and no, no humans were harmed in the abduction of these materials so we're that that's my reasoning behind including this tile it's a really cool tile i really wanted to put it in here okay where do i go i guess since we're talking about the aneri let's go into the aneri side and uh let's see what we're going on what's going on with this side over here all right so here's the entrance check this out oh also here's the uh the crop circle for them i put the crop circles kind of separated from the main area but closer to the corruption kind of like they're studying oh let me uh enable foliage so that we can get the full full uh, visuals of what's going on here. There we go. So now we have the Aneri crop circle right here. So then if you go uh, away from the corruption, from the crop circle, then we're gonna get, here is the main kind of entrance area to the Aneri. There's kind of like this archway here. So if you go through the archway, then you can head right over here. And um, I've actually duplicated some tiles I've used more than once because the symmetry added some really nice kind of uh, visuals and this these are kind of like two almost stone pillars kind of introducing you into the Aneri world so now this is the chosen Aneri base it's very interesting it's very versatile it has a lot of different things to it so that's why I chose this one instead so this is the very corner of the world for the Aneri side and you can see surrounding this side we have all kinds of tiles we have this really awesome looking tree over here I think we looked at that in the last episode we have some other things that involve some like purple colors. I think there's something purple down there. Yep, there's some purple stuff down there as well. There's a lot of areas for us to fall into on this map. 
We got these purple tiles. Like, these kind of, like, they stand out a little bit. They kind of, like, jigsaw themselves in here, but I had to... It, it's just something that we couldn't avoid for um, just the practicality of this episode. We have some more stuff going on over here. Some floating islands and stuff. Uh, I think this is, like, a crop area with, like, a skeleton going on. Yeah, so there's just all kinds of things we can do with the Aneri over here. And, yeah, so that's the gist of the Aneri. So I'm going to save the Devorite for last, because the Devorite's over in this corner. But, um, it looks like we have another cave over here. I don't remember what's actually in this cave. The really tough thing was, um, the Tile Builder, you can't see... Oh, please don't be green in here. That wouldn't make sense if this was green. Okay, there's a little bit of green in here. I... Mm, and it's not that big of a deal. I don't think it's that big of a deal. But um, one of the difficult things with placing these tiles is the tire builder. The tile builder doesn't let you see all of the details in the tiles. Like depending on which assets are used, not all assets show up. So I was kind of doing guesswork based off of the titles of some of the tiles. Um, you can see I used some of the roads that one of you guys made or girls. I don't know that one of you made. Um, and these roads kind of like snake through over here. But let's head over. Let's go through the corruption over to this side over here. We're going over to the Arcturi side now. So as you can see, the Devorite being in this corner to my left is the farthest away from the humans. And my reasoning is they're the only hostile ones. So we wanted them to be as far away from the humans as possible. And that way the neutral and friendly races are closest to the humans. All right, so as you can see, as we get closer, we have the crop circle here for the Arcturi. We're in the Arcturi zone now. We got a bunch of, with some green stuff. Uh, a lot of you guys, surprisingly, had black with the Arturi. So, like, the Arturi was, like, black and green with some of these areas. So, that kind of worked well together. Like, look at over here how all of this stuff goes together with the black and green. We have all these kind of Aneri tiles. They're just, like, kind of enclosing their basin. We got a couple of, like, stones and gems and rocks. We got a floating island next to the major floating island, which I chose as the main base. And you can see, um, I think one of my very first episodes, I showcased this gem sticking out. It's a really awesome looking gem. And I actually used two of them, similar to the Aneri, to uh, add some symmetry, almost like two just giant pillars kind of showing, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Do I don't remember. I think this is a new discovery for me. I've been on this before, but I did not know that there was actually a section inside of it right here look at this this is new and there's a gem in here too i had no idea that's really awesome well the the, the arcturi base just got like 10 times better look at that that is really cool so i'm really glad that i chose that for the home base uh that was really awesome now the devorites they're the only one nobody made a large devorite tile that i found all of them were medium because the Aneri base is large and then this Arcturi base is large, but there wasn't one for the Devorite. And it actually kind of worked out because the Devorite turns out to be a lot more, for some reason, organized, which is surprising. But, oh, whoa, whoa, I made a mistake here. What is that doing here? Oh, you know what? I don't think I knew this was purple. All right, I'm gonna have to change this apparently. All right, so now I'm seeing some mistakes that I've made. I have to remember these mistakes so I can adjust them. Which is why I'm not building anything in this world yet, because I don't want to commit to it until I get your feedback on what you think, if there's any changes I should make, any changes I can make. And that way, I'm not going to commit to anything without your guys' input. So we have a mine over here. We have some more neutral tiles. Honestly, the neutral tiles were the harder things to place, because it's really hard to figure out what to do and where to place them in between them. All right, you guys ready? Are you guys ready for the Devorite area? This is where things get really cool. Like, really, really cool. All right, check this. Oh, oh, wait. there's a lot of stuff to load in here. Wait, I feel like there should be more up here. Oh, is that the Devorite logo? That's the Devorite logo. That's pretty cool. All right, so as you can see, we have a lot of symmetry going on here. And we got two pillars there. We got two little tentacles coming out over here. And then we have, oh, we have two volcanoes as well. And they're kind of like... These volcanoes are pretty much, like, uh, paving the way into this area right back here, which is a really cool tile from a recent episode. So there's, like, the entrance there, but this is not the actual base. This is just 
an area within their corner. The actual base is in the air. And that is this thing up here. Now, I'm pretty sure we looked at this. If we didn't look at this, I'm sorry, but this thing is epic and it just fits the Dever. Oh, we did look at this. This thing fits the Deverite so perfectly. So this is the Deverite mothership. And I think that as a whole, it just works great with this side of the map. Because we have that. The only thing I wish is that what I really wanted to do was combine um, that corner tile. I just really wish I could have put that corner tile with all those rocks coming out underneath this thing. If I could put that thing right there, because there's nothing down there, unfortunately. And that's just the way this tile is. But I don't have the ability to combine those tiles. They over they overwrite each other, unfortunately. But that would have been perfect if I could have had that. Because it almost looks like a blast, like a rocket blast zone from like something that is like touching down. And that would have went perfect underneath this mothership. So I just put it behind it instead. So we got some more, a lot of Devil Ride stuff over here. Um, you can see all the red happening. And I just think that that side worked great. Here we are back over with these roads and things. And yeah, a lot of your neutral tiles are just thrown in in between. It's really hard to kind of like link things together though, but I tried my best to make things make sense. And I think given how many different contributions that there have been to this, I really think we did an awesome job making this world and putting this stuff together. Oh, wait, something's not happening here. Oh, sorry. I really think that we did an awesome job at building like one of the biggest collaborative projects that I've ever done with this. I mean, there's so many awesome things here and I'm really happy that it's coming together and we're finally getting commit, getting to commit to it. So before I end this episode, what I'm going to do is we're going to go into the world builder and I'm going to show you a big overview of everything. That way you can get a better context for what is where and what it might look like. It's just I wanted to fly you guys through it. I wanted to take you guys through everything, kind of explain what went where and why, show you what is and what isn't here. And I want your feedback on if there's any changes you think I should make. And if you see anybody in the comments that has a good idea, I want you to like that comment. And um, that way I can see the top comments to see what changes or what adjustments you guys most want to see. So let's hop over to the world builder now. I'm going to show you what this guy's, what this uh, looks like, what this whole world looks like, and we can take a more easily viewable walkthrough and you can see everything in context. All right, let's hop out. Whoop, that was an accident. <laughs> All right, so here we are in the world builder and now you can kind of see how crazy this thing is. How many tiles are there in this place? I have no idea, but there are a lot. Now, what I like about this view is everything loads in. Um, except for like the random terrain pieces. Like for instance, uh, let me see here. Like there's like rocks and stuff on this piece and you can't see that. There's like a bridge and like other cool things here, but you can't see that. So that's what made this kind of really hard to figure out what was going on. I think this might be Stonehenge. So uh, that was the difficulty in kind of building this world. But things like the mothership and all these assets are loading in no matter how far away I am. So you can kind of see everything at once. All right, so... You can see very clearly now all of the five zones. We have the future military base over here. We have the Arcturi over here. We have the Devarite over here. We have the Neri over here. And of course the corruption in the middle right here. And I think that this view really kind of, really kind of illustrates that there are five very distinct zones in this area. And I'm really liking the way that this turned out, given what's gone into this. Everyone individually making all their own tiles. I mean, look at the Deverite area. I love this. I love, like, look at the, the symmetry with the volcanoes and the tentacles. Like, look, even though those tentacles look nothing like the ones that are actually in here, they actually curve out this way, and I didn't know that. If I had known that, I would have done this, which I am now going to do. There we go. Oh, and there were a couple other things. What notes? Oh, I forget. There was something by, oh yeah, this tile right here does not belong over there. This tile has to move somewhat. Wait, is that the same thing? Oh, oh, it looks like I actually did put that tile over here, but it just, for some reason I duplicated over here. So let's delete that. Now we have this blank area. So something else can go here now. Uh, man, this has been quite the, quite the project. 
took a lot of time to make these decisions and I want to know now what decisions did I make wrong and what decisions would you guys like to see or you can also tell me it's perfectly fine to say good job scrap man it looks great the way it is you don't have to change a thing can't wait for you to start building on it and what we're going to start with um, once we actually commit to the world is we're going to start actually building walls around this one of the first episodes I did was um looking at walls that you guys built and it is time to actually choose some and put it there all right so here you have it this is it this is the future military world tentatively and i am looking forward to seeing what happens with this can't wait to see your feedback down in the comments remember to like your favorite comments favorite suggestions on what you want to see happen to this world make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification icon so you get notifications on all of my uploads and I am really looking forward to seeing what happens with this. This has been an exciting episode. I'm super happy that this is all coming together. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.